and students, you're joining us for the Falcon News on WCFE. I'm Kinsey from Miss Nelson's class. And I'm Alexis from the fa 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 Fabulous Miss Hertzler's class. Today is Friday, May 13th, 2016. Ooh, it's Friday the 13th. Today, students from Miss Williams' first grade class will lead us in the pledge. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain seating for the Fur Falcon Pledge. As a Fur Falcon, I pledge to be a responsible member of our Falcon family. I will do my best to soar higher than the rest by making good choices and showing respect. It's all up to me. You may be seated. Alexis, what kind of weather can we expect today? This morning is cloudy and 63 degrees. We will have mostly cloudy skies with a chance of a scattered thunderstorm. Today in a high of 75 degrees. Perfect um, Friday the 13th weather. Kinsey, what are we having for lunch today? Well, Alexis, we are having cheese or pepperoni pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Grilled cheese, corn, garden salad, variety of fruit, Seasonal fresh fruit, milk, salad bar, baked potato. Who doesn't love potatoes? That's a good way to brighten up your damn Friday the 13th. Now for all the news you need to know. You will follow Friday's schedule for Connect. This is a week on the guidance media rotation. According to Fact Monster, on this day in 1858 through 1862, Robert Small, a slave, took control of the Confederate warship planner and turned it over to the Union forces during the Civil War. That's a good way to do it. Also on this day in 1846, the U.S. Congress declared war against Mexico, formally launching the Mexican War. Fighting ended when the U.S. General Winfield Scott occupied Mexico City on September 14th, the day after my birthday, 1847. A few months later, a peace treaty was signed at Guadalupe Hidalgo. In addition to recognizing the U.S. annexion of Texas, defeated Mexico, ceded or gave up California and New Mexico, including all the present-day states of the Southwest, to the United States. Woohoo! Okay. Stop by the Media Center this week and see our fifth grade AIG Make a Difference projects. They worked hard all year on these projects. These are really, really good. I love them. Some of the fa fa fabulous projects involve cancer cures, food drive, and helping shut-ins. Our third grade, uh, our third graders took a trip to Old Salem yesterday. We had Jacob and, and Emma from Miss Malfa's class to share a few highlights. During our trip to Old Salem, we took a trip to the Sea Winkler Bakery and the, and the gingerbread cookies that they baked over there were really good. My favorite part um, of the trip um, was when we walked around the town and, and seeing all the buildings and seeing what they did in the past. My favorite part about the trip was when we got to make um, clay shingles instead of wooden shingles. Because if they were if they were wooden, um, um, sparks from the chimney of fi fire, sparks of fire from the chimney would usually go up the chimney like doing doing, and then fall onto the roof and it might set it on fire. Thanks third graders, that sounds really fun. Our first graders visited Patterson Farms yesterday. Rhea and Benjamin from 
Miss Bagnesco's class are here to share their favorite part of the trip. My favorite part on the trip was when I got to see the goats give birth to their baby goats. It was so adorable and tasted so sweet to see strawberries. My favorite part was when we got to see the bunnies and a lot of people put their fingers in to touch the bunny's head. And the bunnies jumped back because they didn't like it. I like the part when some of the ducks snap people because it was trying to touch them. <laughs> they tried to snap me on my nail, but they hurt. That's good. And that's when there was this goat who put his heels on the fence and he was having fun and a lot of people put their hand out with food inside and they licked the food out of their hands. And we saw this other baby goat but didn't give birth but they was just about the same size as the one that gave birth to theirs. And I saw the mommy goat lick the baby goat and he was all wet and cute. Miss Rashawn really liked the goat. Um, she was petting it and she liked it a lot, the white and brown one, you know, the big one. She liked that one a lot. But the black and white one, it was taking care of her babies and eating a lot. And that when the chickens tried to get some food, only one chicken wanted some food and the rest were just pecking on each other. <laughs> Um, you can't feed the ducks, the rabbits, or the chickens or hens because they have to get fed a certain food. And we like how the fruit that was like for goats and other goats and animals. And when we first got to their to Patterson Farm, we saw these little baby ducklings running towards the pond. First graders, that was so cute. I love that. Miss Otter would like us to share the best of the month with you. The best of the month is Bus 57! Congratulations, Bus 57. Thanks for joining us on the Falcon News on WCFE. Signing off. Have a fat